All right, in this video, we're going to go through and set up the material for our red dot. So if we go ahead and open up the optic material here, delete the green. We're going to drag the albedo, mix map, and normal. Actually, let's open up the mix map first and uncheck sRGB. Save it. Then we can drag that, the normal, and the albedo into the material. Let's position them accordingly. So mix map on the bottom. Normal right above that, and then the albedo on top. RGB of the albedo to base color, RGB to normal, and red to occlusion, green to roughness, and blue to metallic, and save it. All right, we have that. Wherever it went, there it is. So that's good. Now we can open up the glass, do the same thing, except we have our red dot material here, so we're going to drag that in. We're going to click on our glass, we're going to change it from opaque to translucent, and to unlit. Now we're connect the RGB to emissive color, and the alpha to opacity. Save it. Now let's look at this guy, let me slow down the movement speed. As you can see, we now have our red dot. So that should be good to go. We have everything texture-wise pretty much good. Now we want to set up our gun here to function with it. So one mistake that I made in the previous video, this is a static mesh currently. Actually, can we convert this to a skeletal? Because I don't really need any bones or anything like that that I have to care about. I'm going to look that up real quick, and if not, I'll, be, I'll do something else. Okay, so we have to re-import it. So delete the mesh itself. We're going to go ahead and drag and drop the rifle back in. Check skeletal mesh, leave the skeleton as none, and import. Can ignore that. And we should now have a skeletal mesh here. Okay, everything looks fine. I was just curious what that looked like. Doesn't really matter. Anyhow, that's just so we can easily replace the uh, mesh itself inside of our character because I don't feel like creating a bunch of other classes just for uh, a firearm. Okay, what we're going to do now is add a socket. And let's give this name of S underscore sight. All right, let's do optic. Eh, no. Sight. Yeah, we'll leave it as that. Then we're going to go through, add a preview asset. It's going to be our reflex sight. And we want to move this to where position wise it makes sense. I'm going to do it right on the rail. And honestly, the rail is a little too big for this anyhow, but that'll work. So we have the socket S underscore site, and then we have to go through our red dot again. Let's load that up. And we want to create a socket on this. Let's go to name of S underscore aim. And we want to position this right where the dot is. So let's go up some and forwards. I get it right in the middle, or at least pretty close. And I think that's about right. That's right in front of the dot. So we have those two sockets now. Now let's go to our first person character skeleton. We're going to go through, let's find hand underscore R. So right here, we're going to go ahead and add a virtual bone. That virtual bone is going to be linked to the root. Sorry, I screwed that up. Click on the root bone. Add a virtual bone. Select hand underscore R. Let's rename this one BB site. Go ahead and add a virtual bone to that virtual bone. This one's going to be for hand underscore R again. And add another one to this, which is going to be hand underscore L. Actually, on second thought, we don't really need the hand underscore L. We're just going to have VB site and hand underscore R. So the site is going to be going to where, real quick, bounce me out, is going to be going to where the actual site, so remember that sock we just made on the reflex site? That's where that's going to be going. And then you have the offset for the hand to follow. So the site kind of gets positioned where we need it. 
and then there's the offset between the sight and the hand, so it kind of mimics, well, mimics isn't the right word, but it positions the hand according to where we have the position in front of the camera where we want the sight to be. So we're good to go there on our mesh. And let's see, I think that's pretty much everything in regards to setup that we actually have to do. I can't think of anything else. Uh, we do have to set up the gun and the optic. So let's actually open up our first person blueprint real quick. So let's change out the gun itself. That's going to be the AR-15. Scaling is eh, kind of meh. And then on top of that, we want to add a uh, static mesh to it. So we're going to go through. Actually, let's simplify this. We're just going to work with blueprint classes for the time being. So we're going to create a basic site class just so we can easily spawn it. Or, um, let, eh, yeah, no. Let me think for a second. Yeah, yeah, we'll just add some static uh, meshes and attach them to the gun. So we're going to add component. Static mesh. This one's going to be optic one. And we can attach that to S underscore site. Then for the mesh, we're going to use reflex site and it attaches like so. So we can compile save. And we really don't need the muzzle location anymore either. And that's way off anyhow. So we have the site. Now we need to position the gun in the hand. So it's, you know, decent looking anyways. So let's go back to our first person skeleton. I'm going to go ahead and play the, I'm actually going to go to idle, or the animations. I'm going to go to the idle, skeleton tree, find hand underscore R, add a socket, S underscore, uh, I don't know, and R. Just shorten it up a bit. And a preview asset. It's going to be the AR-15. Rotate this around. And position it just somewhere remotely close. Doesn't have to be exact, obviously. Rotate it down a bit. And it's following fairly close to the hand rotation-wise, so I think that's actually pretty good. Um, Up a tiny bit. And eh, good enough. And save it. So we want to attach the gun to the S underscore hand R socket. So currently, we go back to our C++ project, go to the character. Go to, I think it's begin play where it attaches. Yes, it is. We attach at the grip point. We want to change this to, again, the, let's copy it, S underscore hand R. And we should be good to go. So control alt. All oh, right, I got to restart the project. So that'll handle that. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the project, save it, and relaunch to get live coding set up. One more time. Okay, project is back. Reopen the assets. And we should be good to go. So we have that. Looks like it's attached where we had it, which it is, and good to go. Okay, so we have the pretty much everything set up. So in the next video, what we're going to do is go ahead and get all of the positions that we need. So we have our arms here, we have our hand socket, we have the gun, we have the optic attached to it, so we know the sight point that we need to get, which we're going to have to make a, uh, probably, a, actually no, this is exposed, so that's fine. And we're going to start working on the actual animation blueprint. So, the only thing we're going to do now is just open ourselves up to get ready. So I'm just going to open up the animation blueprint for the first person. And I will see you in the next video where we begin. Okay, I will see you then.